Hello everyone, welcome back to another Transformers toy review. Today we're taking a look at Optimus Primal. This is one of the new toys from the Transformers Rise of the Beasts uh, toy line from the film, which uh, hasn't quite come out yet. This is one of the two masks that they do that transform into a robot. So this is Optimus Primal. You can see you, you've got this Optimus Primal mask here, which then uh, transforms into uh, this robot down here. Obviously they're kind of meant for kids. <laughs> well, I say kind of, they are meant for kids, aren't they? You can see how they're clearly marketed uh, for there. But, you know, I'm a big Beast Wars fan. I just thought this was a kind of cool thing. Um, and even like, a, even to use as a cosplay thing or just to have on display, I just thought it was a, a neat kind of piece. Um, my local toy shop had them in uh, a 36 uh, that's in uh, pounds sterling uh, price. They did have the Bumblebee one in as well, and they had various other bits and pieces. They had um, Air Razor. They had uh, the the small little Target Master ones, Cheetor, Skull Cruncher, and all the other kind of uh, kind of two packs and things like that, which is great. Uh, I picked up this and a, a few other bits. Uh, the packaging is really nice on these. Um, the the kind of background that you get on here, you get um, Decepticon, Autobot symbols, you get Predacon symbols, Maxwell symbols, little things like little pictures of uh, uh, dinosaurs, so Megatron, uh, spiders, so Black Arachnia and um, Tarantulas, uh, ones of uh, gorillas, so Optimus Primal, Rhinos, Scorpion, Scorpion, sorry, Scorponok. Um, what other animals do you have in there? Yeah, rhinos. What looks like a deer or something, I don't know. Um, but yeah, lots of different animals in there. It looks like a, uh, down here, like a, like a Dinobot sort of one. Yeah. So you get uh, on here a little picture of someone wearing it for cosplay. How it transforms the robot on the side here. Optimus Prime from the film and a little kind of monkey symbol here you get, they've got like a little thing on here to sort of hang it up on the retail stores and uh, again another well, I, I think that I love the sort of pictures on this um, and 12 steps to transform it which is relatively straightforward I'll put the box off to one side you do get instructions that come with it um, when you get it you kind of have to sort of pull it out a little bit I move the legs so they're kind of down in this space here. When you first get it out, they're, I think, up here, kind of in the way. So it's, I think it's best to have it on here. And you've got like a little space here to fit your nose in. And obviously then you just put this around your face uh, like so, uh, and it fits in absolutely fine. Um, even obviously it's not really meant for adults, but it still fits adults, so it should fit fine on uh, most kids, I think. Um, if anything, you might say that, oh, there's an adjustable strap on here, so you could kind of tighten it up. And I think once you tighten up that strap, it, you know, it should tighten up overall. So there's no problem at all. Um, basically, there's a whole bunch of places where it's connected up and you just want to kind of pull it out. So I think you start from the top here. Um, yeah, so you start from the top and you just want to, let's have a look. And you think you just pull it apart like that. So like that, pull it away from you like that. Sorry, I'm just gonna have to tip my jumper off a second, get a little bit warm. All right, that's better. So you just pull these off. You see there's a there's some tabs that go into here, in here. Um, and as you go through, on the instructions, it does show you the various places where you need to do it. So you kind of work out as you sort of, the best thing is I find start at the top and then work your way down and then pull it out towards you. There's various different ones as you go down a little bit further. Kind of have to pull them one way. Ah, do this one. Yeah, that one's done. This one down here. Again, just pull them away from each other. It should come out. Am oh, I missing one? No, that is the next one, I think. That one's 
fine. That's out, that's out. Yeah, so it should just be these ones down here. So let's grab it at a place where you can get a good bit of traction. Pull it apart. That's this bit here, sorry. Pulling at the wrong hinge, like that. So now you've got everything apart. Um, you can start however you like. Yeah, you might want to just undo the legs, which are on some nice stiff ratchets. Pull this apart like this. Oh, that's the first time I've done that, but you see there's a ball joint there. You just pull that off, straighten out its legs like that. These bits are then going to come down into the space here like that. And then you're going to rotate this around, then rotate its foot. Same on this side, bring that down, bring that around and rotate the foot in the ball joint there. And then you kind of got the front of his legs sorted out here and then the top half here. Uh, I'm not really sure about how to sort these out because last time I just kind of ended up bundling all of this up into here like that. So I'm not sure if there's a particular way to do it, but basically these are gonna peg into there like that. And that should sort itself out. This bit is gonna come back like that. These arm bits are gonna come down like so. Like that. And I think that is it, him more or less done, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's it. Just sort out his legs. And then I'll readjust the camera so you can see his head and everything. A little bit better. Yeah, I think that is it. Just double checking, got everything right, his arms and legs. Yeah, that's all okay. Yeah, so as mentioned, these bits kind of peg into here, so you can kind of slightly adjust it. So yeah, it's in there, and you can pull these bits through forward if you want to just kind of make this a little bit tighter in here. But the paint's not too bad on him. The face is a little bit um, iffy. So yeah, I'm not too fond of the head sculpt on it, but I'm probably going to have him in the other mode, to be honest with you. But articulation is not bad. You've got arm comes out here. This rotates around like that. That's on a ratchet. Arm rotates around here and bends up, down and around. The fists, I'm not sure if they rotate around. They do rotate around and you've got um, a peg in there, if you, should you wish to uh, carry a weapon or anything, you get waist articulation, which is ratcheted and that goes all the way around. The legs are on these huge ball pegs, if you've seen, and they go up and <laughs> they go out to there. So not a huge kind of stance or anything. He doesn't come with any weapons or anything. The legs bend in like that. So you take you back to there and again, ratcheted. And these feet here sort of rotate around in that kind of ball peg. So you can get some wide stances and they move forward and, and back like that. So fairly decent. Um, yeah, looks good. Um, yeah, let me go out like this. Yeah, so you can get him, and if you're getting to hold some weapons or anything, you can do a bit of a macho man pose there. He, to be fair, he looks, he looks decent. There's a fair bit of paint on him. You've got the, kind of brown that comes through from the gorilla mode. This is painted black, blue in here, red. Um, the face is all painted, including the eyes. All down the leg, you've got red in here and the, the sort of brown in here. Um, and different colored plastics just kind of mix it up. So overall, he looks uh, pretty decent. Um, 30 pounds is probably quite expensive. But if you think, you know, it's like a cosplay kind of thing. Um, for kids, I think this is a really good toy. Um, you know, he's fairly robust. Um, there's, you know, there's bits that you can just easily pick back together again. Um, you saw where I pulled the leg off. But yeah, it's a cool idea, isn't it? You know, a mass that transforms into back, you know, into into a robot and then transforming it back again. It's fairly simple it's because everything kind of lines up. So it's a case of just kind of getting everything. And, and as I said, just lining it up. 
and you just line up these holes in here and just peg them together line this up line up the slots and peg it in and rotate it around these bits here you can see you just kind of get them and line them up and you've got the corresponding kind of slots in here just push them in and again just pop them in like that um, I'm trying to see what age this says on the side it says not for not threes but it says six plus yeah so you think they'd probably have enough kind of muscle on them to be able to sort of push these in if not it's fairly easy just for an adult to sort of get involved and and uh, sort of apply a bit of pressure just to peg something in I think that's the only bit where somebody might come and stuck a little bit. They sometimes they require just a little bit of force just to peg it all together. This bit again is another one of the pegs. And you just want to line, make sure it's lined up and just peg it in like that. And again, this bit, and you see that there's a little notch here. It'll come around and slot into there. And move that around and into there. And then this is just gonna go backwards and then you just kind of and that's his mouth and then you're just going to adjust it so you can peg it in either side like that and like that he says Yeah, just make sure it's all lined up. And there you are. And because of all the kind of notches, it pegs together really nicely. And if it doesn't, you just have to sort of like jiggle it around a bit. But generally, I think that's a pretty easy transformation. Fun. Definitely worth getting, in my opinion. Uh, good fun and and with the mask there's a fair bit of paint on here you've got a, a maximal symbol here and obviously the the paint decker that comes through from the robot mode and uh, and even little bits here which if you wanted to you could kind of add a little paint and things to this one so it's a, a good one maybe for customization anyway uh, that's it for now guys uh, thanks for watching and um, give us a like or a comment if you've uh, enjoyed the video and uh, subscribe, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye-bye for now.